this is Eva for Once Upon a Timeline, and today we're going to discuss some overall changes in the shape of the brain and the cranium, as well as some changes in the shape of the Adam's apple. So let's get right down to it. Okay, previously we've discussed about changes in the individual sections of the brain, and I said that although the frontal lobe does look larger in the surface area, there's a number of reasons why it's hard to tell if it's really large or smaller or what. And one of the re reasons I think that is because I think the overall shape of the skull and cranium itself have changed. Okay, now here's a picture of a skull lying down on a table. And one thing that I really noticed immediately is I recall the facial structure here being more attached to the brain itself so that it didn't hang down. Here's kind of an example. Okay, see how on this image... You've got the skull up here, and then the face kind of hangs down away from the skull. What I remember is the skull being more, I mean, the face being more attached to the skull here, the skull being longer, so that when it sat on a table, it would look upright and straight out. But what we have right now is if it sits on a table, it's looking at an angle up into the sky. Now, a number of people have said that they felt that faces were getting longer. Um, I think Mandela affected especially has felt that the, that the overall human face is longer, kind of a Kim Kardashian look to it. And I, I concur. In fact, it's kind of interesting because a few months ago I caught a, a reflection of my own face in a curved window and it made my face look squished down. And um, strangely, it looked really familiar to me and it looked really good. Like I it, it just it should have looked alien to me, but instead it looked correct. So that was that was kind of weird, and I actually spent some time looking at that image in that window, uh, wondering why it looked so right when it should be looking so wrong. Okay, so imagine if you will that this this um, skull was straight across here, the face was straight down, and the bottom of the skull would sit there. It's kind of hard to describe. Um, that's more like how I remember the skull used to be. Um, but now we have this look where the face kind of hangs down way over here. The face is longer, and then the skull curves back more. I believe that it now goes back more. Um, we already discussed this one. Okay, where are we? Well, here. All right. I, I discussed before, I think, that there's a, a dent forming up here on the top of the skull that might um, contribute to the length here. Uh, another thing I've noticed about the fissures, especially in recent months, is that the zigzag on these skull fissures is a lot more zigzaggy. It just used to be a little bit. It's getting really, really prominent. Okay, this region here has gotten an uh, incredible amount of thickening for the last four or five months. Uh, there's a lot of muscle attachment here, and so they're saying the thickening is due to the muscle attachment. We did not used to have a big thickened area on the side of our head like that. Of course, we did not have a giant dent on the side of our head. Um, we, it's already been discussed in a number of places about the mandible thickening here and um, being bigger. And indeed, I can see on my face that it's wider there, back where the um, jaw attaches. And um, from a um, more modern, from a more day-to-day uh, -day perspective, I just noticed that my chewing power has really improved um, substantially. I used to be the world's laziest chewer. Um, if there was a hard, crusty bread, I just was too lazy to eat that. Um, I've always been really wimpy that way, but now if you give me a hard, crusty sourdough crust, I'll just wail on it, no problems. So I think maybe I've gotten a little upgrade over there. Okay, some other issues people have um, mentioned already. The, the little knob down here on the uh, end of the jaw is much more prominent. Did not used to have that. The jaw just sweep across. Uh, this... <laughs> this thing down here, I forgot the name of it, but that, that was not there before. Um, a couple of people have noticed that there is a um, nasal bone now. Uh, it used to be there just a hole in the head uh, where the, the nose went, but now there's a lip of a nasal bone. And, and more recently on the bottom, there's been a little bit of a lip growing over here too. I think other people have already mentioned those. Uh, not not too many new ones in there. Uh, this This... Region just gets more and more intense over here, though. 
another thing I did notice while I was doing all this research for all this brain stuff was um, if you look at the current fissures, now a lot of people said the fissures have changed. I know they've changed. I just couldn't remember exactly how they used to be. But uh, looking at it now, I had noticed that the fissures matched up quite a bit with the brain sections. So here's the brain sections. You have the occipital, parietal, frontal, and temporal. Okay, now if you go over here, unfortunately it's reversed, but this is the occipital region here. And indeed, they call that the occipital bone. And I do remember there being an occipital bone, so I think that one is legit. Um, and this is the parietal region here, and they call that parietal bone. And I do remember there being a parietal bone. The one thing that's interesting here, though, is the frontal lobe, I think, comes further back than this line. So I, I'm wondering if eventually either the frontal lobe or, the, or this suture here will match up. Because all the others are matching up with uh, internal structures of the brain. This one right here, this um, coronal suture, does not yet quite match. So I'll be watching for that. Okay, and here is the temporal lobe right here, and it matches up with this temporal bone. Now that's interesting, because I do not remember there ever being such a thing as a temporal bone. I also do not remember there being a frontal bone. I mean, it makes plenty of sense now uh, with them matching up with the underlying structures, but I don't remember those. I also do not remember a sphenoid bone. Certainly not, and I absolutely do not remember there being a nasal bone. Just to be a hole there, and that was it. Uh, this styloid process is something I saw quite some time ago. A lot of people, I think, have mentioned that. Uh, this weird sticky-outy bone part. Um, some people, it sticks out really far. I think that's just weird. Um, I haven't heard a lot of people mention this hole here for the um, ear. Uh, my old skull did not have a giant hole here for the ear. There, just, there was nothing there. There was no hole. So that's definitely different for me, and it's been growing the last couple months. I think I saw it a couple months ago. That's been growing. Um, all these holes continue to grow. Uh, a lot of changes up in there. All right, so let's see. Front view. Okay, front view of the skull. I've noticed lately that the nasal cavity here is forming very much of a heart shape in most images. It's getting more and more. It used to be just kind of a regular hole. Now it's like an upside-down heart. Also, you can really see a division between the nasal cavities. You did not used to be able to see that. Um, you could see a, a little bit of uh, stuff way back in there before, but not so prominent like that. It was mostly just a, a hole before. So looks like there's a lot more bone structure in there. I think it was just mostly fleshy, a hole with flesh before. So once it was a skull, you would not see all that stuff in there. I, I am used to seeing all that stuff in there for animals, like coyote bones, uh, but I, I had not seen that in humans, so that's interesting. Another thing that keeps changing is these uh, slits behind the eyes. Now, a lot of people remember that used to be open. Uh, then now there's just these little slits. Those keep moving around. Uh, right now, they uh, there's a slit here, and then there's one underneath um, that, that just, it's changing all the time. Um, I noticed that right here on the top of the skull here, where these uh, foramens are, this area is getting pushed back, kind of pushed back by that. You can see a little bit of shadowing here. That's been the last couple of months. Um, oh, another one. Uh, Mandela affected kind of mentioned the, the buildup right here under the eyes of the bone. I, I've definitely been watching that too. And he feels that uh, he's starting to see it actually visible and pushing out the skin on a lot of people. And I think that I also feel that a little on my face. Um, one thing that you'll notice now, at least I did, was that it's it's getting harder to tell men from women. Uh, women are becoming a little more, more masculine and men are becoming a little more feminine. So there are times now when I see a face and I don't know if that face is a man or a woman. If, if there's not you know, no makeup and the clothing doesn't give it away. I, I sometimes just don't know. And that just never, ever used to be the case. I always knew. I mean, I could go years without ever seeing an image and not being sure if it was male or female, especially if there was no makeup, no plastic surgery done, um, especially for Caucasians, because usually the sexual dimorphism there was pretty strong. So that's something really weird. And I, I think a lot of these skull changes have something to do with that. Um, they're just changing in so many ways now. It's just uh, crazy. Oh, another thing I noticed, 
this fissure right here, um, which now there's this nasal bone and there's a fissure that's been growing. And now there seems to be two fissures coming down the side of the face. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, here, you can see, you can see it in that one. That, that's very new to me. I did not see those. Even just maybe a few weeks ago, I, I didn't see those. Um, oh, definitely changed. Okay, we've already covered that one. Okay, here is another view. Um, now, we, I've kind of noticed some changes, on, and other people have already mentioned this, and they, they mentioned it first, that um, they're seeing women with Adam's apples, uh, or what they think is Adam's apples. Um, what I've noticed is there's a little bit of a pushing out area on myself here, like just underneath the, underneath the jaw. Um, at first, I just thought I was getting older, but I started looking more. And I, it, it's funny how you dismiss these things with dumb excuses, even when you're looking for them. So if you look, I mean, I've discussed before about the, um, the bone right here expanding. And um, I think that that might be part of it, because look, there's really little room here. So with this bone expanding out like this, I mean, you almost have to have a little more space. Uh, I also wonder if maybe the necks are a little bit, I'm just a little bit wider than they used to be. You've got all these spines coming off the vertebrae now. And um, so a lot of changes there. Oh, you can see the um, collarbone here uh, goes straight across. And I think that's reflected in some of the changes you'll see in the bone structure um, on some of these people. So here's a couple of women. Just see a little bit of thickening there. And I'm wondering if people are uh, thinking that that is a little bit of an Adam's apple. You see her bones going straight across here. That looks really weird to me. I mean, to me, that looks really masculine. Uh, that doesn't look like a feminine bone structure at all. Um, here's another woman. She also has a little bit right in here, straight across right there. There's a little bit of a hump here. I think that that, again, is the vertebrae pushing out. I, I'm starting to see that on more women. This hump way up high here. Uh, I, don't, I don't recall seeing that before another woman. Another thing to look for is uh, changes in the ear shape here on the inside of the folds. This one spot right here is coming down and kind of attaching inside. I, I don't remember it being like that. You can see this woman has it a little bit, uh, but not as much. Uh, there's just, you know, there's just so many changes. I could, I could go on all day on some of these. Okay, so I was talking about how um, this uh, hyoid bone here is getting bigger than I recall it when I first heard of it. And... Um, so I think that might be why some people think that women have an Adam's apple, but I'm not sure. I kind of looked into Adam's apples, and they're saying that they are a um, result of the thyroid cartilage expanding in puberty uh, in men. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't really research um, that at all when I was younger, so I don't really have anything to compare it with, but I do know that if you look at Adam's apples now, um, to me, they look different. I remember just kind of one lump that was in there, just one, um, and it would kind of move around a lot as people spoke, um, which I, I guess in my mind, they always associated it with the voice box, but they're, they're saying that it is uh, a thickening of the cartilage of the thyroid I just don't re recognize these shapes. I mean, if you look at the uh, if you look at the Adam's apples now, they're kind of weirdly pointy and kind of small. And then there's this huge other thing going on here. Um, if you look at the current structure of the larynx and all these other parts, here's the hyoid bone that we discussed before, thyroid membrane, thyroid cartilage. Um, I was discussing how I, I was shocked to see the thyroid stretching around the, the, uh, uh, the trachea, and I just don't remember it doing that at all. I mean, somebody else said that they remembered it being slightly butterfly shaped, but that was it. That's probably about right. So I, I suspect that this change in shape here is why we're seeing this shape in men, which to me is very creepy looking. Um, I also want to add that I do not recognize these weird indents here on the shoulders. That's another thing that's probably from all the new structure in here. 
So anyway, uh, there's a giant wad of changes for you. Um, I have a lot more to go, so try to bear with me and uh, see if you can kind of keep an eye on some of that stuff. Especially uh, keep an eye right here at this weird triangle of, um, let's see if I can find it bigger. This triangle here um, of bone has been growing out and sticking out quite a bit lately. So I think we're going to see the, the cheekbones coming out more. I mean, that could look, that could end up looking pretty good. I mean, usually high cheekbones are a, considered a favorable look by most humans. So I don't know, maybe we'll get better looking at you too. Um, anyway, this is Eva signing out for Once Upon a Timeline.